sunflower. Yeah, it looks like a sunflower. <laughs> it looks like an aquarium. It's like fire inside. Yeah. Fire, fire, firework inside. It's kind of like lustrous. It means it's recrystallized. So crystals mm. grow on top of it again. Carbon sites? Yeah, carbon sites from, from India. From India? Oh. I trace some kids with the collector from Singapore. So beautiful. Oh. Oh. from uh, Pakistan. There's purple down here. And then you see oh, wow. mm. Hi boys and girls, auntie and uncle, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is CK and my channel is Ecology, where I bring my viewers around the world to eat, see and explore. And today, my senses are pretty much heightened through the roof because I'm in a very special event called Singapore Mineral Show at Serangoon Garden Country Club. There are so many incredible stone and crystal here to see. This is one of the largest gathering and exhibition and I am here to explore and I'm here to learn all about minerals collection. My eyes are almost blinded by all these incredible stones and mineral and crystal here at the exhibition and I will also be interviewing my friend Justin who is an avid collector of these semi-precious stone and minerals and I'm here to learn everything about crystal and the world of minerals. So let's go and explore! Here's my friend Justin. Hi Justin! Hi! Justin is the one who invited me to this mineral show. So just know you've been collecting since your thir 13? Yes, 13. <laughs> <laughs> tell, now, tell, now it's 41. <laughs> tell what, how you got into this hobby. Okay, um, I got into crystals is because I think there's an affinity between me and stone, you know. Since young, I will go to the, you know, the free, free, free market. And so last time there's the, uh, the Vietnamese people selling in KL? In KL. Oh, so Justin is from KL. So yeah. you went to the flea market in KL? Yeah. Where then, exactly did you remember? In Tongyan Kai. Oh, in, in Chinatown? In, in Chinatown, in yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So you went there and? And I saw, saw something. Then I find it very interesting. Okay, secondly, because I also quite sensitive, I can feel different, I can feel vibration. So from the stone? From the stone. From the mineral? Yeah. Oh, wow. Then I was like, whoa. It's very interesting, you see. And it's very pretty. It's shining. Uh -huh. So that's why I start to collect. How did you collect? You just buy from the flea market? Buy from the flea market. Then my father, will, my, my parents were like, this stone you pick up from the roadside. Like, why you never <laughs> money to buy? Tell me your collection, Justin. So this is just a, a, a little portion of my collection. Right. So something like this is actually very special. It's actually Mongolian fluoride. Right? So if you actually take out, it becomes totally dark. Oh, and where did you get this? Uh, from another seller, from another collector actually. For another collector, and yeah. this, this stone is one of your favorite because? Because, okay, fluoride, one of the things I like with is, is they are very colorful. You can see the different color. Yeah. There's lining, mm. there's green, there's mm. blue, there's purple. Yeah. Then another town is, because it's actually on quartz, Okay. it's actually quite rare. Oh, so rare and colorful. Yeah. So what what advice do you give to people who are starting out to collect? This is actually a very positive uh, hobby. You can buy a very now. Very positive. Yeah. <laughs> you can buy now. Treat it as investment. Oh. Yeah. So there's so, 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 certain stone like like ten years ago I buy. It's just maybe sing dollar hundred, uh -huh. and now I can sell over sing dollar four hundred. Why does it increase price? Man? I mean, what's the worth in it? I mean, help help me understand because, because mineral we keep harvesting, and earth is actually a limited resource. So there's a lot of different stone, right? They actually have quite a limited resource. It's only one fine one fine time maybe. Oh. So after that, the pocket is just deplete. No, it's just depleted. It's just and depleted. Then, yeah. And then, oh, this will increase in, yeah. in value. So in the collector, in the collector market, is it will get increased. Oh. Then a lot of things, a lot of things. People like to buy stone because they believe in the metaphysical. What is metaphysical? The healing property. Oh. So there's there's, this, there's a big mineral. group or big market of people that believe that uh, stone actually bring them luck. You know, they're helping them to align their chakra, helping them to heal themselves, inward emotionally and stuff like that. How you just put it in your house and then uh, you will so have like the me, effect or I wear. Okay, I like jade, so I wear some jade also. This. Oh, sorry. So I like jade. I wear some jade. So uh, jade actually helps us. This, this is Rudaksha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. This is Rudaksha. Uh -huh. And I have some jade. 
Well, you're wearing a lot of things I didn't know. Oh, yeah, so it's like people wearing stone on their rings yeah. and their neck on, uh, on and yeah. these. Okay, okay. So they bring luck. They bring maybe charities mm, in your life uh -huh. or you know, anything. Is there a favorite stone you have? Like, like you would like a oh. favorite mineral? One of my you... favorite is actually moldavite. Moldavite. Billions years ago, the the meteorite impact on Earth. So this is actually. They're actually from this country. Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Okay. So, Mora right from Czech Republic. This yeah. is Justin's favorite. Because one of my favorite. One of your favorite. So because. this is actually they okay, one first step is because it's very limited resource. And it's only from Czech Republic. Then second is um, I love the energy because Moravite always associate with transformation energy. So that's why so you can see it's actually quite dark colour. Uh -huh. But if actually you shine it with backlight, it's actually it's greenish. Oh, oh. Oh yeah, interesting. Oh. And motorbike price increased dramatically over the years because of the, the rarity. Of rarity it. and oh. going to is actually become rare, rarer and rarer. But uh -huh. beautiful piece like this is become more and more expensive. Mm. So it can go up to now. I think the market go up to thirty plus dollar per gram, if not mistaken. Thirty plus per gram. Yeah, lo this long time ago when I bought, it's just sixteen dollars per gram. Oh my god! And, and this this show, what what do you plan? Is it, you're selling you're selling some of it. Yeah, I'm selling some of my old collection. Uh, the entire uh, entire market, you know, we we collector, we share our favorite stuff with the younger collector, so it actually, the legacy get passed down. I've been to Justin House. It's like a museum of minerals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lot of the collector here is actually. Have much more better. I'm the, sure, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm so glad you invited me here. Now, last question is what's your future plan for your collection? Okay, I will definitely I will keep joining I will keep joining such a fair like such this fair, to yeah. share my collection with other mm. people. Mm. You know, uh, when I share the collections, I can get extra money to buy a new one. Uh, yeah. So you'll keep on going yeah. and join this show. Yeah. And, yeah. Do you think of joining uh, the show overseas or Possible. Possible. Possible, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of international sellers here. Mm -hmm. So international collectors that come over here to join this mm -hmm. event and to share their, their passion yeah, and their passion love. And yeah. Thank you, Justin. Thank you. Okay. See the yeah, it, it's like swimming yeah. pool like that. Reflection. Oh, that's okay. El my Elman El Els Mood. Ah, okay. Yeah, from the locality from the US. Purple down here. And then you see the Wow. Mm. Oh, wow. This is like contact. This mm. is where it like it came off the matrix. Yeah. Mm. Right? Oh, but but if you see that it's kind of like lustrous, it means it's recrystallized. So crystals mm. grow on top of it again. Mm. But then like I'm trying to see, uh, that's probably damaged. So that like it, when they harvested it, they might have dropped it and not something. Oh so this is like um so it, it's not as valuable as yeah. as if it's like a full yeah. uh, so fact, Oh my god, this is 1500. Okay, you see, you see, you see. Am I, the colors? Am I seeing that? Did yes, you see the colors. Oh my god, it's 1500. It's yeah. What is this? Fluorite. Right. This is fossil French fluoride. fluoride. French fluoride. It's, it's it has a nationality. It's interesting. This one's very beautiful. Very. It's one of the biggest Japan twin slow I've ever seen. Here. What is a twin slot? Japan twin slot. Um, so they, the, they still grow in this. A shape, lah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very rare to have. You have a very specific angle of 84 degree between the two crystals. Almost 90 degree, but it's 84, 84, 33, I think. So, so here you are. We, I just spoke to my friend Justin, and this the other half is from Eric. Hi, Eric. How are Hello. you? I'm great. Thanks, thanks for, for having me here yeah, today. Thanks for talking to me in my channel. Tell me how you started with the mineral collection. It was an accident for me. Huh? So, so I started these collections because when I first uh, chanced upon minerals, uh, mm. I like how beauty it is. Like um, you know, the natural beauty aspects from the uh, from the minerals actually attracts me aesthetically. So I started to buy more. So of course, you know I have partially half partially influenced by Justin. You oh. see his collections. You know Justin for a long time already. Yes, for oh. quite a number of years. I oh, mean, wow. I started these collections uh, after oh. I know him. Uh, and of course, along the way, I know uh, different collectors, and my collections uh, so-called upgraded over time in terms of the uh, the quality and of course the amount of money I spend on it. 
so that, that was how I started, mm. like accidental, but it's a, it's a very uh, fulfilling hobby because you get to enjoy and see all these uh, beautiful colors mm. and, and the, the nature beauty of it. Because the way I collect light, like, first thing first, based on aesthetic look, right? So sometimes when I don't feel, uh, uh, feel a bit down, I will like pick up, you know, certain pieces, like, you know, something like this and uh, appreciate the colors, what the is form. This? So this is a uh, uh, a tour guide. Uh, we call it uh, Iridescent uh, Gold Tide. Wow. And all these colors are very, very brilliant yeah, and amazing. And all these are formed naturally uh, underground. Take millions of years to form mm. minerals. So for the show today, right? So these three plus this these three two plus are my favorites. All because not for sales. Not for sales. Okay, I, I bought along to uh, to share. Mm. And uh, all these uh, I invite. Uh, anyone who are interested to actually adopt. Mm. I have these rare minerals with this adjoint inclusion Adjoint? Yes, adjoint inclusion Adjoint quartz. inclusion quartz. Yes, okay. so I bought from one of the, uh, the collectors here also and it was a very beautiful piece. I mm. love it a lot. Mm. And that cost me like, that is my most expensive piece in my entire collection. Which is well. how much was that? Or how big was it? Like, it's a light, like maybe it? this size. And how much is that? Cost me four figure. Four figure. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. So, yeah, so I have a few criteria like it must have a checklist for me to tick off. Tell tell me your criteria. Okay. First of all, uh, it has to be aesthetically uh, pleasing. So that's one. Second, uh, the formation. We can have the uh, There are many of them in the market, but there are a lot of them. I don't find that is the formation. I don't find it nice. But some of them, like example, this face. It looked like a cave to me. Oh. You see, so I look at formations. Formation. Formations. Oh. So color, formations, and of course the surface features. Surface, surface features. features. Yes. What is surface feature? So I mean... let's say for example, let's couple uh, uh Justin's collections. Mm -hmm. Looking at these, uh you look at the surface, there is a very different unique forms. I will based on these three criteria to actually streamline and you know a bit more fussy la, of what I what I'm going to get in future. Mm. And of course uh, if it's in my within my budget then why not right? Can I know really? like can I know what your family member thinks of this hobby? I guess there's not a very big uh, hoo-ha but uh, my mom start to appreciate you know all these little oh, pieces no. when I show her like you see it look like this so beautiful right so when you are not you are feeling down you look at this wow so my mom start to appreciate yeah, this really all nice. These little, little, it. yeah, it's very small, yeah. but small but mighty because mm. pieces like the smaller piece usually they are able to come out to be more complete and uh, uh, mm. and beautiful. Mm -hmm. Bigger pieces usually because it take a longer time to form, so it also subject to more interruption, disruptions along the way. So. Uh, it may not be that nice. So a hobby that you might want to explore. Thank you, Eric, for talking to me. No problem. And good Thank luck you to for your having me today. yeah. Good luck to with your collection and your show today. Thank you. Which one is the your special favorite, lad? My favorite will be this spirit quartz because because it's a citrine and amethyst infused. Amethyst and citrine infused. Citrine infused. Yeah. What is an amethyst and citrine? Citrine is gonna do with money. It helps with money and everything else, whereas amethyst is more for your anxiety. So it calms you down and helps make you, you make money. Mm, maybe it can help you to make money, but to me, it's more of a, I feel balanced every time I hold it. Right. Yeah. Might be amethyst. Oh, this is the amethyst. Yes. Mm. And where do you buy them? Can I ask? Like, where do you? A lot of areas. Maybe a lot of places. Online or? We buy online. And then we have uh, two physical shops that we actually visit as well. Mm. Yeah. Here in Singapore? In Singapore, yes, correct. Mm. Nice. Uh, their collection very feminine, no? <laughs> <laughs> mm. So a lot of my customers actually like to buy them individually and put into the This is a new feature, right? It's from China, Xinjiang. Oh, this is from Xinjiang. Mm. So Called Alatai Iron. Where did you found it? This one, we actually got the lab to create it for us. Oh, this is created by lab. But the, the element is natural, it's a magnesium. It's a magnesium element, so you cannot heat it. If not, it's quite explosive. What is this? Herculean diamond? Herculean diamond from New York, New York County. From US, New York County. It's very famous. And the price now, 
exponentially go up like it, oh, It's only found in that county or? It's only found in New York. In, in Hakima, the, 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 that, the, that mine the, area yeah. la. Oh. Yeah, right inside it's like fully clear, beautiful. Yeah, it really looks like a so, frozen ice like yeah. So Hakima Diamond is, you know Diamond is, uh, hardness is 10 right? Uh -huh. They are 9. Oh, they are nine. So almost diamond. Almost diamond. Tell about your collection, Ryan. Oh, uh, my collection is not on display today. Uh, it's mostly on the piece. So it's crystals that you don't see every day. Oh, tell me about this piece. This is vanadinite from uh, Morocco. And if, as you can see, there's these white blades of uh, barite as well. They usually come in together. But sometimes they can just be vanadinite. Can I pick it up? Sure, sure. This is bare. Just the blade is a bit delicate, so yeah. Sorry. No problem. Bare, bare, bare light. Bare right. Bare right. Oh, it looks very intricate. Wow, this one is amazing. What is it? Oh, this is from Inner Mongolia. Red fluorite. This is uh, opal, right? Yeah. Wow, look how shiny it is. Yeah, so we have priced this at two fifty, wow. and for 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 something this size, this the price is unheard of. Yeah. Mm. So maybe you want to look at the the fluorescence. Yes, yes, please. So what's so special about this? Uh... Oh wow! Yes, this 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 locality is famous for this for this oh, wow. bright bright fluorescence. You can see it covers almost the entire city. Mm -hmm. So, so, so in, in some quality specimens where you put it under the daylight, it will just turn blue. Yeah, very beautiful. It is, it is. Yeah. It looks like it belongs to like a fine dining restaurant. <laughs> like yeah. a, I will bring I, this to a club. Yeah. What, what, is, uh, what, what is the element of this or? Uh, it's basically a natural calcite. Uh, this is a natural calcite? Like, yes, uh, from China. Uh -huh. so, uh, uh, usually calcite, they, they grow in some of the, uh, in the cave, right? they, sometimes because of the, the pattern that calcite mm. grows, uh, the solution that is accumulated. So mm. they actually, uh, a lot of calcite is formed in front of the rose set for straw formation. Rose set? Yeah. Wow. So, but this is a bit rare because it really looks like a sunflower. Mm. Yeah, it looks like a sunflower. <laughs> yes. And this colour is like, what, brown? It's very, very mesmerizing. And so there you are. That wraps up my video for this episode. Hope you had fun. Me taking you around this incredible mineral show pretty much opened my eye. I really felt that the vibe here is a very community vibe. Everybody is sharing what they learn about crystal and they're enthusiastic about collection of minerals and crystal here. And I really think this community is one of the friendliest community um, that, I, that I could think of because they really share their experiences and also it's a very friendly and tight-knit community. A, a, a good community to be a part of. If you're interested, I'll put a link below on the association and the show that you can join and talk and network with um, this group of people. Thank you for watching this video. Please support my channel by going to buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. There are more events videos that I did in the past if you're interested here in Singapore and all over the world and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye from Sarangan Garden Country Club here at the Mineral Show of Singapore 2023.